They are at the start of their journey. They think outside the box and they often come up with bright ideas. Their projects are innovative. They are a new generation of business people and their distinguishing features are creativity and enthusiasm. This is the world of startups, the program about IT developers and the industry of startups. Hello and welcome to the world of startups, the TV program that tells you where the technological progress is going and how to keep up with the time. I'm Sergei Kakishev, watching this episode. Kyrgyz craftsmen create covers and accessories for gadgets from felt and leather. The startup Kancha has already raised 15,000 euros on a crowdfunding platform in Europe. What typical mistakes do business people make when promoting their website on the internet? Find out about a marketing sabotage from an online promoter Dmitry Goncharov. Don't know where to get financial capital for launching your project? The Kazakhstan's National Agency for Technological Development is awarding startup as grants. Handicrafts are often taken for granted on their native land, but there's a great interest in them among foreigners. For them, national handicrafts are something new and unusual. Learn in the market about how a man from Germany set up a company that makes Kyrgyz national handicrafts in Bishkek and is now successfully selling them in Europe. During his studies in Budapest, Tobias met a girl from Kyrgyzstan. When he finished his studies, he went to his girlfriend's country, Kyrgyzia. Tobias didn't know then that he would fall in love once more in national Kyrgyz handicrafts. He was impressed by handmade items made of felt and leather decorated with national ornaments. He wanted to create something more than just souvenirs from these handicrafts, something that would be useful in daily life. Having considered several options, he decided to start production of cases for laptops laptops, mobile phones and iPads. He called his company Kancha, a curious word that means how much? For the first crowdfunding we collected 15,000 euros just to start with to produce the first 500 products and since then we have uh, already produced, um, I don't know the exact numbers, but probably one, two, three thousand uh, products already and we're constantly growing. The main piece of work takes place in Kyrgyzstan. The marketing is done by partners in Germany. We'll explain the process in an example of mobile phone cases. The embroidery is ready. For each pattern we prepare a frame. Then the frame is applied to the pattern. The leather part is also prepared beforehand. All the necessary drawings are made on it and a cliché is put on it. That's all we need to do. Then the item undergoes stitching under sewing machine. After the stitching, the threads are burnt and that's all. The sales take place in European countries where there are about 20 shops with the product from Kancha. They are also available to buy online. On our website we are very transparent, we, uh, we are showing for example the um, people that are working on the product, so every product has this little label mm -hmm. and when a person buys the product they can take the label out and here on um, this label there's the signature of the person that worked on the product and on the website we have a portrait and you can uh, you see an interview and photos and you can learn more about the production country and what we're actually trying to do there because it's not purely a business. Uh, we also um, we have a, a goal of, of um, supporting social products there, of, of um, working with rural craftspeople and really also creating value in Kyrgyzstan. The team is small, with only 14 people working, 7 craftsmen working in Kyrgyzstan and the other 7 doing marketing in Germany. But they have long-term plans on hiring more people, expanding the product line, as well as involving local craftsmen from remote areas of Kyrgyzstan. The product, which was planned as a business for experts, is now popular in the region too. The Kancha products are available in some Kazakhstani shops. Indeed, the Internet doesn't have borders and business people can sell their products and services anywhere in the world. But selling things online has its own rules and once we know these rules, we can organize the promotion of the product efficiently. Find out about typical mistakes in the Internet marketing from a leading specialist from the top 10 companies in online promotion from the NetPick agency Dmitry Gencherov. 60% of all sales of the Internet take place because of so-called low-frequency searches. 
конкретным запросам. Researches are made by users once or twice and are unique. When the client orders a service on promoting their website, they select a list from the 50 most popular phrases from the search that has the highest frequency. And this is where we have a trick. The most popular searches do not mean you will have sales. Наиболее популярные запросы не значит, что у вас будет продаж. Вторая ошибка это. The second mistake is misunderstanding the peculiarities of advertising instruments. Clients compare different sources of advertising in the scale of the cost of the ad in relation to attracting the customer. One aspect we need to pay attention to is whether the source is profitable or not. The client may not understand all the nuances of investing into the SEO instruments. They may expect immediate results from their investments, which usually it doesn't happen. In contextual advertising, you may invest $3,000 today and tomorrow you may have sales. In SEO promotions, you may have to wait for the result for a long time, from four to six months. So your money goes into each month while you're waiting and later you may have the result. And the third mistake is not being ready to instantly implement the SEO agency's recommendations. SEO promotion consists of the inner optimization of the website in the first place, technical optimization of their website, and very often clients just ignore this fact. They say they are satisfied with everything on their website and don't want to spend more money on programming. In this way, they are sabotaging our work. И тем самым он просто саботирует нашу работу. Kazakhstan's National Agency for Technological Development is ready to support startups and innovators. Their grants are awarded in eight directions, and one of them is information communication technologies. We talk about how you can get their support in the funding feature. The National Agency for Technological Development was set up in 2012. In the following year, they started to give grants. One important condition for eligibility for the participation in the agency's project is creation of an industrial prototype based on an experimental sample, writing a business plan and the selling of the end product. By now we've got about 60 applications. They are being processed now. As I previously mentioned, we have signed contracts on three projects. These are the first projects in the sphere of information and communication technologies. They are undergoing the implementation of documents, final corrections of the details with the innovators. I hope that the selected projects will prove successful on the territory of Kazakhstan. Today, the grants of the National Agency have the following advantages over the similar instruments. In the recent past, it was only possible to apply for the grant once a year within one month after the announcement of the competition. And now applications are received on a regular basis. For the first time, the awarding of the grants is not limited by the budget year. The grants that are not awarded to the recipient until the 31st of December can be received in the next year. And the financing of the grant grant program is not interrupted and takes place 12 months a year. The competition of project Casino IT will take place in Almaty from the 11th to the 13th of July. The winners will have an opportunity to implement an apprenticeship program in one of the following leading accelerators in Israel, the USA and Norway. The teams will work with experienced mentors and will build up contacts and partner relations with foreign colleagues. They will also get an opportunity to present their project to potential investors. Applications are considered in the following fields. Software as a service, cloud computation, keeping data, solutions in e-commerce, solutions and applications for mobile devices, sensing technologies and others. You can submit applications on the agency's website natd.gov.kz. Today we've been talking about startups with national character. In the new episode we will talk about gamification and its application in business processes. Follow our updates on Facebook and VK.com pages. I'm Serik Akishov. See you next time on Kazakh TV.